Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. Here is an article from Fox 31. I will have a link to this article down in the description below, but basically it's talking about the Denver housing market. Check this out. Denver area housing market back to normal, except in price. What is happening in Denver? This is very interesting. Let me jump over to the Redfin weekly housing uh, market data. And if we could see the, uh, if we look at the new listings. So yeah, so listings are back to normal. Uh, blue is 2019 and that was a very normal year. And it is following the similar path for uh, right now for 2022. But here's the only thing that's different is basically the median sale price. Look how high the price went up in the last two years. This was obviously because of coronavirus and the record low interest rates. But this is so you have to look and the prices didn't really move that much in the last month. Pretty, pretty remarkable that people, even with the higher interest rates, are still wanting to jump into the, uh, the Denver area. They still want to get into properties. You got to wonder, though, you know, are people buying at this high? you know, making a mistake or are they making a really good bet? You know, is the housing market really going to drop like some say, like I say all the time that it's going to drop or is it going to stay high? And you got to wonder, right? What is happening? What are people thinking? And why are people deciding to pay so much more for that property that, you know, technically it should have been, been closer to down here, you know, the prices of at least 2019. Look at this, guys just in like the past year, right? Someone could have bought a house for four, 541 and now it's worth almost 600,000. So, I mean, just that's um, $60,000 higher from the beginning of the year. Why the frenzy? Why are people still wanting to jump into this you know, semi-hot market? And that is a question, you know, that this article definitely is trying to answer, right? Now, if we jump in and I wanna, read this part right here home sellers are not able to command the bidding wars they could in the last two years buyers paid an average of 10.05 uh, percent uh, of the asking price in july the lowest since 2020 but guys still they paid a little bit more <laughs> you know what's nice about getting into a house is always like there's a little bit of that haggle you know if they if they list something for 500,000, you could kind of come back and say hey you know what how about you take 475 and then you guys meet somewhere down in the middle. But the fact is that people still overpaid. And when you compare it to the last two years where people were paying 106.4% above asking price, you know, as prices spiraled upwards, then you could see there's a big, big change. You know, that's what I was been saying is that we're now definitely on a buyer's market. We're not, we're no longer on a seller's market, but still the fact that people are jumping in in such a hot, hot housing market. And even if you look at the recession risk of Denver right here, I mean, it is um, it is at 53% chance that it's going to turn uh, down, right? Uh, it's gonna It's gonna have a downturn. So people that are buying at this high price, it's like there's a 54% chance that the prices is gonna go lower. So you gotta ask yourself, why would someone want to jump in right now where you know it's clearly clearly inflated prices it could be also because maybe the rent is so high that they want to get in because even at these prices it's still cheaper than paying rent uh, you know their mortgage could be cheaper than paying the rent so that's another situation right you got to wonder you know what's going on there you know and but you know what when the economy if the economy slows down you could see also rent starts to, to slow down as well so you know to me like i said in the past you know i believe that if you're a buyer you're probably your best shot is to kind of chill out for a little bit and watch prices come down as we jump into the recession risk score right here you know that there's a lot of house a lot of cities across the united states that are susceptible to a downward change right so you know, why, why buy now is my question, you know, comment down below, like, what is your suggestion? Like, what do you think? I mean, don't you think it's better to wait? I mean, in my opinion, it is, um, you know, unless you, unless you really love the house and you really have the money and you know, the, the payments don't really bother you that much. I mean, when you look at the interest rates, they're not crazy high right now. I mean, they're like, what, 5% It's somewhat average when you look at, you know, historically. So it's not out of this world. Uh, the only issue that I'm seeing is just that 
the houses are just really expensive. You know, we are in a classic bubble and people, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they want to get in, they want to get in. And maybe there's, there's still a little bit of that frenzy of all the people that couldn't buy houses during this time that finally they're, they're having a, a chance to get in and they're buying, you know, but I got to tell you, you know, anyone buying at this high price might regret it in about two years when the prices are closer to that 2019. But again, we're just going to have to see because I don't have a crystal ball. This is just my opinion. Um, this is just what I believe from all the reading that I do and all, you know, and all the data that I read. And, you know, just looking at historical charts, right? Um, you know, what goes up sometimes too fast tends to come down just as fast. But I do believe that inflation will most likely keep prices high for the time being because, you know, inflation keeps everything high. So we're going to have to see how that all plays out right now. Now, I want to just say, I want to finish this video and I want to say a big, big thank you to, to you guys uh, for watching my videos, commenting on my videos, liking my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, if this is your first video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.